is one thing we have all learned from this quarantine is that we could all use a little more space. Two beluga whales are getting just that. As News 8's Tim Blodgett shows us tonight in this Earth 8 report, they are moving from the tank to the ocean. Closest to me is little white and then little gray is over here. When you're feeling low about being cooped up all day, spare a thought for little gray and little white, two beluga whales that have spent the last 11 years in captivity in a Chinese aquarium. There's something immediately endearing about them and you just, for me personally, I wanted to do something to help them and be part of this project and create a better place for them to be. Audrey Paget loves beluga whales. And when Merlin Entertainment, the parent company of the Sea Life Trust, envisioned an open, more natural environment for these whales to live in, she jumped at the opportunity to make it happen. Uh, Merlin Entertainment doesn't believe in keeping whales and dolphins in captivity for entertainment purposes. So they started working with Whale and Dolphin Conservation and Sea Life Trust to create a new alternative. Around eight miles off the southern coast of Iceland is the island of Hamey, where the Sea Life Trust has established the first ever whale sanctuary. There's a Arctic environment here and a nice secluded bay on our island, uh, which is 31,000 square meters. That's enclosed with uh, netting for the beluga, so they have a contained but natural environment. In June, the Sea Life Trust Beluga Whale Sanctuary plans to release Little White and Little Gray in Kletsvik Bay, Iceland, with hopes to give beluga whales a safe, more natural environment. Our hope with this project is to really open the door for other facilities to consider a more natural lifestyle for their beluga whales. Our first priority is the welfare and, and getting these girls settled into the bay. But there's a great opportunity for us to learn from them and how they adapt to that area. Tim Blodgett, News 8. Moving out.